Hi, Lemme Lovelies. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Mary, and I give you an extra warm welcome. I would love it if you grabbed a snack, stayed for a while, and click the subscribe button. I would love to have you. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you more than you know. So as you could tell by the title of the video, my recalled MAC Cosmetics Skin Finish Sunstruck Matte Bronzer is here. We're going to try this out. For some reason, they got taken off of the website. So I'm honestly not even sure exactly what's going on. <laughs> but I did order it as soon as it launched and it's here. So we're going to test it out and hopefully we're good and nothing bad happens to my skin. <laughs> okay, let's jump right into this review. Okay, as you can tell, I have no dimension to my face right now. <laughs> and that's because we're going to apply this bronzer. So like I mentioned, this is no longer on the website. When did I purchase this? March 17th is when I purchased this bronzer. I did order a lip liner along with this. Was it to get free shipping? I don't remember why, but I did. It retails for $35 or retailed. <laughs> I purchased the shade Matte Medium Golden and um, I can't remember how many shades were available, but I have Golden in the original and this is actually a tiny bit too light. I do have to really build it up. So I believe I went one shade darker instead of the one that like coincides with the original. Okay, so let's see if it says anything here. Mac Artist's best kept secret to extend that summer feeling and celebrate your unique skin tone. Creates a natural warmth all year around. Lightweight, buildable, blendable. Okay, so here it says it has a 12 month shelf life and it was made in the USA. Here is the packaging. I do enjoy the packaging, at least like the outer box. And then here is what the actual bronzer looks like. I do enjoy this, I think it's pretty. And then here is what the bronzer looks like. So I saw Makeup Crazy, is that the name of her profile? Yeah, Makeup Crazy. I'll put here a picture of her post. It got recalled or something. Yeah, it was posted six days ago saying that it got recalled maybe. <laughs> something about foul smell, smell too much like chemicals. I'm smelling mine and it literally smells just like a powder would smell. Whatever chemicals they put in the powder, that's what it smells like. So I don't smell anything foul about this. So I'm going to use it assuming that it's okay. Don't follow what I do. <laughs> this is just me trying it out. I guess taking a risk. If something happens, if my skin reacts, it's no one's fault but my own. With that being said, let's put this on my face. Okay, so just side by side what they look like. I hope they're bringing it back and they're just recalling maybe a certain batch, but if they bring it back, <laughs> this is what the component should look like. So it's the same shape, same size, maybe a tiny bit more bulky, just a tiny bit, not really. So let's swatch it. Okay, feels soft, but maybe, um, a little bit on the drier side. There it is. Hopefully it's not too dark for me. <laughs> I'm going to swatch golden. Look, this one here, it looks like it would go well with me, right? This one definitely feels maybe a tiny bit more grainy, but it does have like a kind of sheen to it, like a natural kind of glow. And this one, I really have to build it up. Like this is already the third time I'm swatching it and you can barely see it. So that's why I went in with this shade. I have two different brushes here. I have this one, which is the Sigma and Brianna Fox 5. It's a little bit more precise. And then I have this fluffy one here, which is the Morphe and Jaclyn JH13 for like really buffing it out. I have literally just powder, 
no contour, no nothing. I'm going to start with the Sigma brush just to be a light, a tiny bit more precise. Ooh. Okay, so I feel like this one's more pigmented than the original. Just from this first dip. Or yeah, I feel like it's a tiny bit more pigmented. Like that other MAC one, I really have to build it up. This one, I feel like I'm still gonna have to build up a tiny bit, but not as much as the original. So this shade is definitely a tiny bit more on the warm tone side. Summer's coming, so yeah. Okay, that's what it's looking like. And now we're going to jump in to My cheeks being weird. Okay, so now we're going to jump into the fluffy Morphe Jaclyn JH13 and buff this. Just so far, the formula is really nice. It's blending out very nicely. It's like buttery soft, but powder form. So formula is nice again. Yeah, no, no smell to mine. Just it smells like powder. Okay, I think this shade is good. Nothing weird happening with it. Yeah, it looks nice. It looks pretty. I have not seen uh, anyone receive this and review it yet. Maybe those who did get a hold of it right as it launched. Well, I know a couple of you were interested in it. I did post about it on my Instagram and a couple of people were really interested to see what I thought of it. So let me finish off this side and then we'll talk real quick. And we're actually doing a giveaway in this video. Yay. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, face is nice and done. I went simple. We are going to go to the grocery store real quick. So I don't need anything too extravagant. Let me just tell you what blush I used. I went into some Surat products. So they sent over a big PR box. I don't know if that video is gonna go up first or this one, but I used the liquid blush and the powder blush in Cantaloupe, which I think is so pretty and perfect for spring and summer. And then when I placed my MAC Cosmetics order, I did also get a, another lip liner because I need more, right? <laughs> Oak is the name, so I have that on, along with one of the Surat uh, lip products. This is the Lip Sleek in Nu de Soleil. It's like the nudie shade, and I think that looks beautiful. Loving that combo. Everything else, I will have it linked down below, but I do feel like this is a really pretty bronzer. I'm hoping they come back so that to those of you who didn't get your hands on it, could experience it, but I definitely am preferring this one over the older formula. Like I said, I feel like this one, you really have to build it up. And I even feel if I went up one shade, I would still have to build it up a lot more than this new formula. And you can even tell with the swatches. So this is golden here, and this is the new one, golden, medium golden. You can tell that the new one has more pigment than the old version. That's a swatch of the lip liner oak. So I definitely feel like they improved on the pigment of the bronzer, which is great. The main thing for me personally with the old formula is just having to really build it up. Yeah, this is a pretty one. I honestly am not 100% sure why it was recalled because I want to say the next day they were no longer on the website. And I think the next day was when I saw Makeup Crazy's post about um, them being recalled. So it was quick. I didn't see any bad press. I didn't see any like bad um, Instagram post, anything. So like it literally came out of left field. I didn't even see it coming. It just happened like bam. I did get a couple of people saying that they don't even know what happened. They just knew that it was up on the website and then boom, next thing you know, it was no longer on the website. <laughs> so yeah, I got a good one. No foul smell. 
worked great, blended out beautifully. I'm enjoying it. I think it's a good bronzer and I definitely feel like I'll be picking this one up more than my old one. Okay, well that's it for the MAC Cosmetics new matte bronzer review, I guess. <laughs> Okay, my lovelies, well, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate every single one of you. You have no idea. I'm pretty sure this video is going to be fairly short, but now it's time to show you all the stuff that I'll be including in this little giveaway. I have a small pile here, and I honestly, I didn't want it to pile up more just because it costs so much to ship these giveaways. <laughs> I'm just going to do the giveaway because I feel like it's a decent amount of products to put in a giveaway. I appreciate all of you and I'm honestly just doing the giveaway because I want to do the giveaway and I want to show you all that I appreciate you so so much and I feel like a giveaway is a good way to showing that. Okay so like I mentioned earlier in the video I did get a very generous PR package from Surat and I actually put aside some items that I feel are going to sit there and not get used. So this highlighting stick in the shade Dor, I think that's how you pronounce it, it's like a, a golden kind of highlight. I don't use gold highlight lights. I just don't like them. Um, this brow gel in light brown. I don't use tinted brow gels. Every time I try, I dislike it. So hopefully who wins this giveaway enjoys it. A Surat liquid liner. I don't use liquid liners. I have tried. I have a couple in my collection and I'm pretty sure they'll all dried out because I just don't pick them up. And this little duo, it's an eyeshadow duo and it has a cream to powder formula at the top. And then at the bottom, it has the um, shimmer. So this is what it looks like. You twist it and it has the cream to powder and then on the bottom you slide it and it has the shimmer this is the one i'm keeping i'm loving it the one i'm giving away is in style eyes and it's like a cool toned purple it's very beautiful i just know it's going to sit in my collection and not get used i'm also including this nyx fat oil lip drip I have one and I love it. It's what I had on my lips at the beginning of the video. That's chic is what I have. This one here is called News Feed and I've been loving it. Like I said, a, um, what is this? Cleansing Balm from Ulta. This K-Skin Face Lotion with SPF 45. I got it in one of my orders and I don't feel like I'm going to use it. I probably should, but I just told myself, put it in the giveaway. <laughs> This Paula's Choice Pro Collagen Peptide Booster, another sample I got that I decided just to include in the giveaway. This Denisa Myrick's Yummy Skin Balm. Yeah, I love this. I have it. Uh, this is in the shade Universal, so it's clear. And last but not least, I picked up the KVD um, Moon Garden Eyeshadow Palette on sale. Can't remember when. I haven't even used it. <laughs> Totally forgot about it, I'm not gonna lie. So I decided just to include it in the giveaway. That way, whoever wins it can put it to good use more than I probably can. Okay, well that's what's going to be in the small little giveaway. All you have to do is like this video, make sure you are subscribed because I will be checking. And I'm going to leave it for US only. I haven't shipped internationally and I think it costs between 20 and 25 to ship it to the US. So I'm probably thinking it's going to be double or triple the price if I do internationally. I have not yet made any money off my channel. So I'm waiting until it makes more sense to do an international video, at least monetary wise. So my apologies, I hate it that I can't ship internationally, but it's just, it's a lot of money that comes out of my pocket, you know? Okay, 18 and over, make sure you are 18 and over, please. And all you have to do is comment down below and let me know what season is your favorite season. For me, it's fall, which it's still pretty far away. We are, what, today is March 25th, okay? And it snowed yesterday. <laughs> so um, it feels like summer is so far away and even spring. It's like we're almost in April and it's still snowing. But it is melting, but still, we keep getting some. So I feel like we needed it. The earth is thirsty and nature is feeding us the water that we need so i'm not complaining okay well good luck to all of you and uh yeah just make sure to follow the rules i'll make sure to put them down below and good luck with that being said again thank you make sure to give this video a big thumbs up 
I would greatly appreciate it and you would definitely help me out in the algorithm of hopefully bringing some new and fresh eyes to my channel. And if you haven't done so already, I would love it if you joined my small YouTube family by clicking the subscribe button. I'd love to have you. Okay, my lovelies, I will see you on the next video. Bye.